So in this video, I'm going through exercise 7.3, question 11, 14, as well as 17. So question 11, the first part, find the length of BD. We have a right angle triangle down here. BD is the hypotenuse. We are given this angle, 29 degree, as well as this side, 15 cm. So when we are given right angle triangle, the easiest way out is to use Tuakaso. So 15 is the adjacent side. We have A, we have H. So since we have A, we have H, we can simply use the car, which is cosine. So cosine of 29 is equals to adjacent, which is 15, over the hypotenuse, which we want to find, which is called BD. So BD will be equals to 15 over cosine 29. And I will get One seven one seventeen point one cm, and this one is still three significant figure. Next, we want to find the length of CD. CD is down here, and we have already found the length of BD. So we can simply apply sine rule because we have this angle as well as the opposite side and this angle we are given and we want to find its opposite side. So simple sine rule CD over sine the opposite angle which is 47 degree is equals to so on top is the length the numerator over here I also put the length and of course we write it as five significant figure because it is intermediate working opposite angle of 17.1 is 80 degree so CD will just be equals to sine 47 times 17150 over sine 80. Close bracket across the degree down here. And I'll get 12.7 cm. And this one is also to three significant figure. Right? Uh, what things to take note is this triangle down here, this triangle, is not a right angle triangle, so we cannot use to a castle because this is 80 degree. Okay, question 14. Part A asks us to find the length of AC. Now we are given the length 40, but we are not given the opposite angle. But like I say, if a triangle, we are given two length, it's much like giving us the third. So let's find the length down here, 180 degree minus 50 degree minus 29 degree. This one will give me 101 degree. So I have 101 degree and I have the opposite side. So we can easily find all the other side because we have a pair of the opposite angle as well as opposite side. So since we want to find AC, we write AC down here over sine opposite angle is 29. So 29, this one is the opposite side AC is equal to the pairing of 40 over sine 
one zero one. So AC will just be equals to divide move over becomes thumbs sine twenty nine thumbs forty over sine one zero one. This will give me one nine point eight and this one is two three significant figure so over here i have nineteen point eight b asks us to find b c very simple instead of taking twenty nine now we are taking fifty so b c will be over sign 50 is equals to the same pairing down here 40 over sine 101 bc will be equals to sine 50 times 40 over sine 101 and this will give me 30 1.2 cm this one is also cm and 3 sf okay next find the perpendicular distance from c to a b so what this question is asking us to do right is this huh? they want to find the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance means that from a, B to C, it is actually a right angle. So right now, you can just see a triangle with a base of 40, then we want to find the height. So in this scenario, it will be good if we can find the area of this triangle. And we can find the area of this triangle because we have this angle, we have the included side that means the side that make up this angle so the strategy here is number one we use half a b sine c to find area and since we got the area and the base we can find the height then find height using half base times height okay so that's the strategy so number c first is half a b sine c half now when i'm doing my working i would like to use phi sf sine 101 okay this will give me but ultimately when I am pressing my value inside my calculator right I'm using the calculator value instead of five significant figure this one is five SF. It's only when I'm writing, I just write 5 SF, but my calculation, I'm using the calculator value. So now, now we have the area. We know that half base times height is going to give us the area. And the base is 40. So half times 40 times height will give me 302.67. 20h is equals to 302.67 h will be equals to 302.67 over 20 and my answer will be h is equals to the height will be equals to 15.1 cm and of course this one is to 3sf Okay, finally, the last question. 
Part A asks us to find the distance from D to R or R to D. So we have this triangle down here. We are given two angles, which I said is much like we are given the third because this one is 20 degree. So we have the opposite side, the opposite angle. We want to find another side and we are given the opposite angle. So very simple, sine rule. So we want to find the length of dr is over sine opposite angle is 130 is equals to so when on top I write the length the other numerator I will also write the length over sine what do I have so 1050 the opposite angle is 20 so dr will just be equals to sine 130 times 1050 over sine 20 all right so dr will be equals to two three five zero this one is two three sf and this one is cm a no cannot be cm probably meter is there yeah meter okay so we want to find the area of this whole triangle very simple we have this length we have this length we have the included angle. So this one is a scenario for half AB sine C. So half times two, three, five, one point eight times one zero five zero sine c which is 30 and we will straight away get our answer which is 617 000 and this one is 2 is meter square 3 significant figure all right that's all so you do not have to complicate yourself for this one because some people might want to make this into a right angle triangle and find to need you have the angle you can half a b sin c all right